So I am. Um, Edward's way more mysterious about his um, songs than I am. <laughs> but you can thank this introduction to like a, a unlikely chain of events. We got a we got a record review in the Boston Globe, my hometown that I kind of hate. And, um, <laughs> it's a really weird record review. It like. It just didn't, it seems to kind of miss a lot of the record. We were all really angry at it. <laughs> but then I, like, I, I did something that I've actually done before. I did it back when I was in the Joseph Bowls. I, I reached out to the journalist and I said, please come see the show so that you can understand what you uh, got wrong. I didn't say that. That's kind of what I meant. I just invited him to the show. I was like, I really want you to see us play this music. It would mean a lot to me. And he was like, okay. <laughs> and he came. And, uh, and if he hadn't been there in Boston the other night, I wouldn't have introduced this song or, or another song. I wanted him to understand, like, the main criticism of the album is that it had no feelings. And I was like... <laughs> I just didn't get how that happened. <laughs> um, so this song, Edward and I wrote all these songs together and like really together. There's no song where like just I wrote the lyrics or just he wrote the lyrics. And um, this one, like a lot of the songs came out of some conversations that we had or little images that we had in our head or things that we had read in the news. And this one, uh, I, I heard a story on NPR that 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 had an image in it that I that I couldn't shake out of my head, and it was about a girl um, in the Middle East who had become a professional athlete, and she had had to fight against all odds to to actually get where she was and be able to do sports, and she was sort of like talking nonchalantly about her childhood, what it was like growing up and growing up with the Taliban and growing up in this little village with her older brothers and her family. And she talked about how her father, when she was like nine or ten years old, gave her a vial of poison to keep with her. You know, just in case she needed it. <laughs> um, not to kill someone else. If you get what I mean. And, and it was so shocking to me that this would happen to a child and that she would have an understanding of this that um, I kind of kept it, it um, you know, it was stuck in me. And while Edward and I were writing songs, I got it out in this one. And then Edward t t titled it with me. It's called Shawl's Missing Page. <laughs>
sound of engines Was it the wind perhaps the living room floor collapsing? Thank you.